What's up, everyone? Welcome back to What's Warhammer. I'm Robbie Johnson, and today I've got a little video that I've said I'd make a long time ago, and uh, my apologies go out to Vince, Steve, or Stomont Gamer, I should say, and Kieran, because uh, I said I'd make this a long time ago after they very kindly uh, looked and reviewed my painting uh, in the PMP submissions. And then I've just been super busy. Uh, so this is a video about that. And it's a small channel update as well as, uh, wow, I just saw Marathi's snake form or whatever it's called literally just before I started recording this. Um, and God damn, like, wow. I uh, don't know what else to say. She looks amazing. She looks ab or we, like we haven't seen the model, of course. So we've just seen this this art. They went at the end of the story. If you don't know what I'm talking about. And wow, it looks she looks so cool. I mean, obviously, the model's going to probably look somewhat like the drawing, um, we're assuming. Uh, and based off of the models that the other daughter of Cain models that they've shown. Wow. Uh, anyway, so there's there's that. And then uh, the reason that I this has taken so long is because I'm running my first campaign, um, the Malign importance campaign with my local group i've got 10 people who are participating it looks like and um i'm going to start maybe doing some like uh from the front lines type of reporting on what's going on in my campaign i'm not participating but i am doing um uh like secret envelopes with like the battle plans inside for each person so they don't even know so they can play at other places or they can play at our local store um and then they won't know what it is ahead of time um, and, uh, I'm also doing riddles and stuff like lore based riddles. So, uh, I'm going to try and report on that. And, you know, I'm, if you guys are interested, I might put it up on my channel. So anyway, onto the main topic of discussion, uh, you know, it's, I didn't occur to me that you guys would not instantly know, uh, anything that I have to show anyone. And the only reason I know about this is because my brother is actually a fairly well-known, uh, airbrush artist here in Canada. And, um, so he, you know, he's the source of all my information, which is normally other painters in the PMP, but, uh, he knows a lot of tricks that have been around in the airbrush game for a real long time. And so he, he told me about this stuff a long time ago. We actually used it as a, um, like a costume thing when I made a, a Bioshock costume and we used this, uh, UV paint to, uh, paint my arm. Like it had electricity flowing through it. It looked really cool. He did it obviously not myself. He did it using his airbrush. Um, so, so yeah. So anyway, I once I got the idea of using UV paint on my Seraphon guys who are alive with Azerite energy, I couldn't stop myself. I just I had to do it, especially on my Slan. So I didn't do it on my uh, Carnosaur or my Old Blood on Carnosaur because uh, I just didn't see where I could put it and make it look cool. Um, but Anyway, so I did that and then, you know, I was asked to explain because uh, for once I had something to share that not everyone else knew about. So uh, this is what this is the brand here. It's called uh, it's Createx is the brand. And then the line of paint is is their Wicked Colors line. And uh, they're really fantastic paints. They're airbrush paints. I think they primarily do automotive but they're based in the United States, um, so it's not super cheap for us Canadians to get, but it's a lot cheaper than other stuff like that might come from Spain or the UK or whatever. So um, yeah, it's really great paint. So basically I've put it on, this was the second model I did. The first model was my Vermin Lord Deceiver, and I was using the free stuff that my brother gave me, and it had sort of coagulated and uh all sorts of stuff and i was you know just trying it out for the first time so i tried dry brushing it on and i tried highlighting a few areas of my vermin lord deceiver and it came out okay and but uh my slan you know was i started using the new stuff i ordered a bottle finally and i was really quite happy with the result um but i also learned a few things so i thought i'd share that and uh sort of go over that so in the middle here we have, this is their UV paint. You can tell, you know, it looks like UV paint. Um, and it's designed for an airbrush, as you can see on their multi-service uh, airbrush colors. And uh, this one doesn't say, this one I actually didn't buy online. I actually bought at a local uh, paint supply store who, who carries it. Um, and 
Yeah, it's um, it came out really well, actually. Um, as you'll see, like in the uh, if you if you check out the PMP uh, end of the year thing uh, that Vince is probably going to drop any day now, uh, you'll see that I used all three of these colors on my Deceiver, um, and uh, or and this one being the the old coagulated one. So that that one looks kind of chalky. I wasn't super happy with it. Uh, but the green came out really well. I, I put it on his uh, Warpstone amulet, so it kind of... My apologies. I don't know what that was. But, um, yeah, so anyway, the... Uh... Jeez, that was so loud. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the green came out really well. It's reflecting in his Warpstone amulet and off of his blade along his forearm. And uh, I, I did get this stuff... Uh, more recently and then i added it to his eyes but the eyes didn't really come out that well unfortunately it came out like in person but in the pictures i don't know why but you can't really see it but i have his eyes sort of a glowing red so anyway on to um so the, yeah this, you can buy so first of all actually i should explain you can buy this and just put it on and that's the glow that you saw on my my slam and then you can mix the uv paint with the fluorescent or put this on first and then add the fluorescent either way and you'll get these colors uh but again the red didn't work as well but they're they're very easy to use even you know even i used it without with with little trouble so uh so yeah so basically what i did oops that was hope that wasn't too loud i can't hear myself um like a fool i didn't prepare my brush So um, I can't find <laughs> the brush that I used for some reason. It's, it's hidden from me. Um, but anyway, so this is, this is what I use sometimes as a dry brush. It's a really great I think It's like a makeup brush. For certain applications, it works fantastic. And they're like a dollar at one. Maybe like, yeah, four cents in the thing. Anyway, so the, the mistake that I kind of made with this when I was, because I, what I wanted to do was make the skin uh, glow so sort of an all-over effect and the mistake I made was I applied it like a traditional uh, dry brush you know so got the the paint you know mostly just the paint not a lot of water I, I you know kept the water out of there but what happened was you could see the marks they would they were super stand out um, so what I ended up changing it to and I was personally happier with this result myself uh, for the effect that I was going for and I, I can show you uh, that I did um, Again, I've tried this out and it, it Oops, it does not come out well at all uh, on the video. Oops, I left that on <laughs> My bad. Ah, there we go. So this is as dark as I can get it in here but uh, So this is it with the 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 black light on the black light on camera for some reason looks purple you can see that on the 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 towel that i put behind it because otherwise my webcam wouldn't focus um spared no expense as john henry would say except the opposite because i actually spared all the expenses but uh yeah so the skin glows like with like a, a sheen which isn't coming out really well on this silly webcam and the uh the vines i wanted to do too like the magic was sort of flowing through him and into the living creatures that are attached to his throne um and yeah so so what i did was i you know i i did a like a very thin i, I thinned it out a bit for the for the uv paint i applied to the vines and i did his eyes you can't you can't see it super well there but yeah i, I actually did it so his eyes kind of glow more than anything else but then for the the, the the dry brush which i also did on my vermin lord deceiver uh what i ended up do what what i i did a regular dry brush like onto a paper towel or whatever like they normally do like duncan does or whatever and then when i applied it onto it 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 was very strokey and you know a little bit chalky looking and that was partially because it was old paint but it was also partially because of the way i applied it 
So in the new the new way that I did it, and I was much happier with this. So uh, hopefully, you know, you guys will find your own techniques and whatnot, as uh, because I'm such a noob. But you know, but anyway, uh, I actually used a wet palette, and I did a very thin amount. I still rubbed it out a little bit on the um, on the paper towel, and then I applied a very very fine layer to his skin, which is invisible, as you guys did pick up on. So I applied it. Uh, everywhere I wanted to glow, and then I kept his belly and stuff. I kind of wanted the blue parts glowing, but I, I ended up doing it in the other areas too, like his face. So it's kind of a cool effect because, like, you know, the parts that, that glow blue aren't just the blue parts, right? Um, and, you know, whether you like that or not, obviously it's totally up to the person and, and everyone, everyone's, you know, but this is just the, this is just what I found. So, um, you know, I hope this has helped. Uh, again, the brand is Createx, um, and you can get it in the States, but they ship all over the place, and there are local suppliers. I got mine from uh, Maple Leaf Airbrush or something, .ca, I think it was called. Um, but, but yeah, a really great service. They ship really quickly, um, but in the States, you can get it much, much more easily and cheaper than up here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like comment all that stuff don't subscribe unless you want to uh or and let me know if you're if you're interested in my malign portents campaign and the little uh updates i'm not going to do full battle reports because like i can't be there for every battle but uh i'm going to do sort of like a an overview and and you know and, and tell you guys the riddles that i'm i'm using and all that jazz so anyway thanks again for watching and i'll hopefully see you next time